Secretary of State John Kerry now admits the deal he's negotiating with Iran over nuclear weapons would be non-binding. Even worse, Republicans and Israel's Prime Minister Netanyahu call it an invitation for Iran to go nuclear in 10 years or less. But tonight's What It Means asks, why should you care since we live in a nuclear world? After all, even that craziest of all regimes, North Korea, went nuclear after President Clinton gave it supposedly peaceful nuclear reactors in return for a promise to disarm. But paranoid as the Kim family has been for the last 60 years, those dictators seem content to wall off and starve their own people and arrest the occasional foreigner, like West Carrollton's Jeffrey Fowl, who chose to visit that communist gulag armed with a Bible. By contrast, Iran, under the Ayatollahs, is not only spreading violent jihad throughout the Middle East, and it's not only vowed to annihilate Israel, did you know that Iran has a national holiday that celebrates the seizing of U.S. hostages in 1979? That holiday is called Death to America Day. And they mean it. So, faced with a fanatical regime that honors suicide in the cause of killing infidels, how should we keep Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons? Join the discussion at facebook.com slash fox45dayton.